In today's video, I am going to show you how I edit my YouTube videos in Adobe Premiere Pro. I learned how to use Premiere Pro basically when I first started making YouTube videos. I started making YouTube videos back in 2017 when I first moved to California and I self-taught myself how to edit in Premiere Pro from just watching YouTube videos. This is basically just going to be how I edit my videos and I don't do anything too fancy. I'm just going to teach you everything that I use for my videos. So if you're interested in learning how to use Adobe Premiere Pro, then keep watching. I keep all of my videos, hi Morai. <laughs> I keep all of my videos separated by the date that they're going to go up. So this is all of the footage for the video that we're going to edit. I'm going to open Premiere Pro. Okay, and then we are going to open a, a new project. And this one is going to be a spring cleaning video, which would have gone up on Tuesday and you're seeing this on Friday. Um, and then it's going to my hard drive and I just keep everything else the same. And here we have our workspace. Okay, so right here is where all of your media is going to go. All of these things are stretchable if you need to be able to see them more. So I'm going to come in and bring in the... I don't like to have too much stuff just because I like to be able to see what I'm working with and not be too overwhelmed. We're going to bring in just like the first few files and import those and then from here we can click and drag and bring them over okay so um i'm going to zoom in i work off of my macbook pro and normally when you do like an iMovie for example um if you do like command plus it'll zoom in but this just increases the size of these things. I don't know what they're called. I'm sorry. I haven't learned a trick on how to do this otherwise, but you just have to move this little guy and it will zoom in on the actual file for you. Okay, so once you come to a spot that you think that you're going to want to start at, um, to get the razor tool, which is to be able to, to separate the part that you want from the part that you don't want, you just press the letter C and put it right on that line and then you can go ahead and make sure that this part right here is selected and click delete and then you want to move this part over to the beginning of the timeline just so you don't have any blackness in, in the front and if you want to go frame by frame like i'm doing here you just press the left and right arrows and it'll move frame by frame for you. And if you want to play it in regular speed, just press the space bar. And then if you want to go back to like the regular selection tool, which is like your regular mouse, you just press V. Something that I'm just... <laughs> um. See, I got rid of that nice little coffee bit. <laughs> okay, and now we're going to add in the second bit. If you accidentally make a mistake, because like I make a lot of them, for example, let's say I delete this entire thing and I'm like, oh no, I didn't want to do that. I just press command Z and it brings it back for me. Okay, so now for a lot of this, for basically the majority of the cleaning bits, I am going to want them fast forwarded because no one wants to watch that real time. And so I'm going to do that in this part and I can show you exactly how I do that. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that the part that you want sped up or to change the speed of is selected and you're going to right click and then you're going to scroll down to speed and duration the speed is already at 100 percent if you go down it's going to slow it down and if you go up it is going to increase it so let's see about 300 percent it takes it down to 13 seconds and this is what it looks like i think i want it a little faster than that so we'll go back and try 500 seconds it takes it down to eight seconds 500 percent, and it takes it down to eight seconds obviously i don't want that sound in there so we're going to uh, make sure that that part is selected again we're going to right click and we are going to unlink then click on the audio section and delete it Normally with like sped up bits and stuff like this is where I would put in music and I do all of that after. So now we're going to go in with the next part. 
this definitely doesn't need to be that long so we can delete it and then we can also come in on the link and delete the audio oh that's satisfying okay and then we can delete this middle part and then bring this over here and delete that and then obviously i want both of these sped up so if you want to do it let's say you have two pieces that you want sped up but you want them to be at the same time or you can just click and drag over them and to highlight them and then you can right click and go down to the speed and duration and you can do the same thing and then we can also do the unlink and highlight and delete the audio and don't worry i promise i did clean my sink really well i just paint so there's paint in my sink that i can't get rid of so <laughs> oops okay so now we can come in and drag in another line of video bring it right into our project media folder and we can drag it in here okay so you know how when youtubers do that really when youtubers do this thing and it's really satisfying and you just hear the clinking and the clanking and it's very nice well this is how they do it it's called the jump cut and it's very it's like a very short cut um, and you're just d d jumping ahead and cutting things and it's very very satisfying to watch and that's why they do it basically everything you do is a jump cut I guess but this is how you do that cute little satisfying thing that that, that youtubers do okay so here I'm about to pick something up and put it down so I'm going to start right here I'm going to cut it I'm going to delete that we're going to I set it down I cut it I pick it up I cut it I set it down I cut it that one was less satisfying most likely but pick it up I delete it set it down I cut it this is how it would look So much more satisfying than you just watching me pick it up and put it down here it's cut short and just a lot more satisfying to watch and i was just thinking about oh my god how long is this already because i've already been filming this for like 45 minutes so right up here you can see where exactly in the timeline you are by this blue little thing this part over here tells you how long your video is, but that goes based off of the very end of the video. So let's say I have this piece, I added in another piece and it's, and I forgot to drag it over and, you know, fit it in. It's going to count that and make all of this black space and still count this very last bit as the end of my video. So if your video ever seems too long, always make sure that you have gone through the whole thing and make sure that you didn't leave any pieces at the end and forget to drag them over because that will end up making your video longer than you intended it to be. And another thing, I don't use it that often, but if you need to, let's say you accidentally cut a bit of a video a little too short and you don't want to have to re go through the entire thing to see where you left off you can zoom in if you go to the very edge of the clip you can stretch it over and you can stretch it in to so like let's say i wanted to stop it right as it makes that noise I can drag it over instead or I wanted it to come out a little after that I can just drag it out so that's another easy way instead of instead of cutting the clip if you wanted to drag it instead you could do that 
Okay, so I came to this part and thought it was really funny how every single time, obviously, she's a cat, she's gonna hate it, but every time I turn on the vacuum more, I always hide, what? <laughs> Every time I turn on my vacuum, Morai always hides under my bed. And in this clip, you can see her just like going to run underneath of my bed. I thought it would be funny to zoom in on that and make a funny clip out of it. So I'm going to zoom in. And I just want to zoom in on that part of her going under the bed. So I'm going to stop it there and then I have this whole clip and I'm going to make sure that that one is selected and I'm going to move the time line thing over to the very beginning of it and then I'm going to press the like the stop the stopwatch clicker thing um, and I'm going to put it here and here and that's just going to put keynotes which is basically what it's where it's saying to do what you want it to do and so right now where i have it it's going to be exactly as this is so then if i move it forward and move it this well i guess that looks weird but if i move it at all and then zoom in it'll look like this and at that exact time, when it does that, is when it'll stop and then it'll stay there. But I don't want it to do that. But that's just like an example of what it does. Okay, so I'm going to move it back to the very beginning. And I just want it to stay zoomed in on her. So I'm going to make keynotes there. And then I'm go going to zoom in. You can move the uh, slider by, you can type in numbers or... You can do this thing, but this only goes to 200, so I don't like doing that. If you click down and then move, slide it left and right, it moves it in and out. Up here is the same exact thing. Um, this one is horizontal and this one is vertical. So I want it to be about here and then I'm going to move it up. So I want it like right about here. <laughs> okay, that's funny. I like that. And then just zooms in on her i i love that okay okay so let's say you want to add in some b-roll and like a voiceover type of thing because i did get a bit of b-roll of like after i cleaned everything and i want to obviously add some of that in so um what you do is take the clip and put it on top of the clip that you want to put it over whatever clips audio you want to use is the one that you want to make sure that you keep but for instance i have this b-roll and i want to get rid of that one that sound if there was any which there isn't but i'm just going to get rid of it just because so this is what it would look like on top of the other clip with the voiceover and normally i would do more than one clip but that's, I, I don't know if I'm going to put that in here, but I just wanted to make sure that I put that example in just in case that's something that you wanted to do. So now is the time when I'm going to add in music and any sort of verbiage on the screen. On my hard drive, I have a music playlist and I really only have like three songs right now to choose from, but it's fine. I do use this song a little bit, but I like it, so which I like this, I think it sounds very good being very soft and chill so that's not overwhelming. So it can be something that someone can just play in the background or you know, while they're getting ready in the morning or something and it's not too overwhelming. For example, here's another thing that you might want to copy and paste something. Um, so let's say I want to take this uh, sound, this audio from right here but if I, if I copy and paste it, I can copy and then I want it to go, okay, so let's say I was moving it to somewhere where there's already audio and I paste it, it's going to go right on top because it doesn't know, or at least I don't know, how to make it automatically paste to the second row. 
So what I like to do instead is to highlight it, press the option key and bring it down and or over or you know up or because I can do it right here I can press the option and move this up and it'll copy and paste oh I love it okay okay so maybe now let's put in some text somewhere maybe I'm not exactly sure where but we'll figure it out okay so here we can say like break time or something like that okay so type tool up here and say uh, uh lunch break and I like my font. I make sure that it's highlighted. And then you can come over into here. And you're going to go to where it says text. And that's how you're going to edit everything that is highlighted in that text box. You can increase the size. When you want it to change size or position or anything throughout the clip that you're working on, that's when you would use the keyframes, but I just wanted to stay one size, one position, so I'm not going to touch that right now. Okay, and I want it to come over like here, there. Got myself some Taco Bell. There's a little. I like that. Okay, so maybe we can actually make it come out a little more. Well, got myself some Taco Bell. There's a little kitty over there. Yeah, okay. And the nice thing about this, so that you, in case you like, and I've done this before, forget like what size font you were using or what font you were using, um, or like you want everything to stay in the same position. That's another time that you could use the option and drag and then you can just like move it and it's the same exact size position everything that the first one that you made was i also have this photo that i place at the end which is kind of like your end slate i guess on your youtube videos and that's where you can do the subscribe your little picture for like the subscribe i'm pretty sure it only works if you're like on a desktop but whatever i still do it anyways and then the watch more so you can select you know whatever video you want for people to be able to click on and now this always comes in a little smaller but i made it at a pretty good quality so i can just increase the size this clip only lasts if you like let it hover the mouse hover over um the you can see like the end the start end and duration so this clip is only four second four four seconds long so we're gonna move it to like 10 maybe 20 Oh, well, we'll say 15. That's a pretty good. Okay, we'll move it to 15. Oh, and then I want some music to play at the end of that too. So move some of this over here and let it trail off. Okay, so then I'm going to make a keyframe and I'm going to keep it there and then I'm going to move it down to the end and I'm going to make that go down so then it slides off at the end. I have never walked anyone through the entire process of how I edit my videos. It's sure it's not like too extreme or anything, but it's still a lot of work. I mean, this took me two hours. <laughs> I hope this helped you in literally any way when it comes to Premiere Pro. And if you want to watch the spring cleaning video that we just made together, I posted it on Tuesday, so it's already up on my channel if you want to go check it out, see how it turned out. And if you want to see more videos like this, just comment down below and let me know what kind of video you want, and I'll see if it's something I can do for you. See you in my next video.